proceed with caution. All cables marked with a yellow sleeve are SRS related. Only remove the cables you are instructed to in the video. I am not responsible for damage you do to your car. Be careful and completely view this video before you attempt to reset the SRS unit. Hey, what's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to reset your SRS light on your Honda Civic. I believe from 95 to 2000. Yeah, just in case you forgot to connect your airbags and plug the battery in or we were putting it in your seat and... Well, go ahead and start by pushing your seat all the way back to make room. And I recommend you remove this bottom panel under the steering wheel. That makes a lot of room and I have to remove it because I have a aftermarket alarm system that has a lot of wiring in there so I'm going to go ahead and remove it. Okay so right here in your fuse box area you can see there are a lot of uh, cables marked with a yellow sleeve. That one with the arrow is the one you're looking for. It's a little hard to see but you can get to it. Okay, so one way you'll be able to tell is when you unplug it, it'll be the only one with no pins inside of it. You can see it's just an empty socket, a holder if you will. Okay, so the two tools you're going to need is a wire cutter and a wire. Simple enough, right? So let's go ahead and start cutting it up. You're just going to make two wires out of that one wire and snip both ends and put it in the socket. Let me show you uh, what it's going to look like. Okay, so this is the final product. So as you can tell, I just stuck those two wires in there. And the both ends are shaved. And all I'm using it for is to connect the two of them together when the light tells us to. Um, when I go ahead and start the video, you're going to see the circle on the top right that is going to show you the light. I'm actually using a website called Honda Tech. So I'll go ahead and put that in the description for you guys to use it as well and if you have any further questions you can actually ask them there or you can post it in the comments and I'll get back to you as fast as I can okay so step one is to turn your ignition off if it was on just make sure that you have it off okay then just check on your wiring and make sure you have everything ready to go you don't want them to be slipped out accidentally okay so right here step one is to put them together make sure they're touching you can hold them or you can do what I did there and then I'm, I'm gonna have a circle on the right top right so you guys can see the SRS light on the dash as I'm doing this okay so you turn ignition and you're holding them together like that it's gonna turn off release them turn it back on touch them and then when it turns off release them and it should blink twice telling you that the error code was reset and that should do it. If you fix your problem, it shouldn't come back on from that point. If it turns back on, then you still have a problem. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and turn ignition on and I'll show you the normal startup process so you can see if yours is doing the same. See, it should turn on for about two, maybe three seconds and then turn right back off and it should not turn back on anymore. See, the error code has been fixed. If you guys like my videos hit the like button I really appreciate that it shows your support and shows that I'm doing a good job on my videos if you guys don't like something let me know hit the, the thumbs down or leave a comment and tell me what I'm doing wrong alright thanks for watching like and subscribe